wonders they say shall never end. You can imagine this Akwa Bio that is a uh, fighting or vying for the position of a Senate president. All of a sudden now, <laughs> he has come out with cry that that is undergoing treatment for cardiac arrhythmia, lung disease abroad. <laughs> Akwabi postpones EFCC invitation over multi billion naira fraud. These are the people parading themselves. All this money they are talking about, this money are not there again. Somebody has taken this money, whether it's the one or whatever, but it's being placed on him. It's the same thing, Oji Zokalo, too. He has a one corruption case or the other. These are the people coming out. Even the so called president he let is even into a drug case. See all of them, and the same people will come out and be and be talking to you youth that youth are not doing this, they are not responsible, they are not doing what they are supposed to do, they are not doing did, 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 did. and you are the ones stealing, stealing the country dry. They are the correct thieves. Oh. According to Akwabio, he is suffering from a pneumonia and cardiac arith arrhythmia. Mm -hmm. Those who are medically inclined will understand that. Gosia Akpabi, former minister of Niger Data Affairs, says he will not honor the invitation of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, to report to its office. EFCC had in a letter asked Akpabi to appear at its office on March 29, 2023. However, the senator elect in a letter to the commission by his lawyer, Ume Kalu, and obtained by Sahara reporters on Wednesday, said he will not be available due to ill health as he had already arranged medical appointments overseas. Okay, he never even go. He don't already arrange John. Okay, because I see, I'm not sure see this man don't come out too. According to Akwabio, he's suffering from a pneumonia and cardiac arrhythmia. Arrhythmia. Pneumonia is inflammation of the lungs, usually used by an infection, while cardiac arrhythmia is an abnormal heart rhythm. The former minister asked the anti graft commission to pick another date after the forthcoming Easter and Ramadan holidays. The letter read We continue to ask as solicitors to Senator Akpabio and write you at his instance. We write to convey our client's inability to honor the scheduled visit to your office on the 29th day of March 2020. Uh, three due to ill health and already arranged medical appointments overseas as mentioned in our last letter to you dated february 10 2023 our client is undergoing treatment for pneumonia and cardiac arrhythmia and has already been advised to seek further attention abroad this it is in the light of the above that we respectfully request that our client's appointment with you be rescheduled to a date convenient to your office officers preferably after the forthcoming easter and ramadan holiday this request is no way intent to disrespect your high office even as we regret every conceivable inconvenience that our request will occasion on you and your team of operatives Please accept the assurances of our professional regards while thanking you for your understanding. So our reporters had in 2021 reported how the senator elect was detained after he attempted to bribe the chairman of the anti graft agency, Abdurashid Bawa, with $350,000, which is about a $135 million. Era. <laughs> 135 million naira. <clears throat> wow. Well, according to sources, Apabio was trying to bribe the EFCC chairman because of the tones of corruption allegations against him, dating back to the time he was governor of Akwaibom State. It was it was learned that the meeting between Apabio and Bawa was arranged by the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Ababa Kamalami, SAN. Sahara reporters gathered that he took a call from the Aso Villa to the EFCC chairman to get Akbabio and his aides released. Hmm. That was when. 
that should be 2021 and to date nothing has happened they've not said anything so that is to tell you that even this time that he's even looking for that after easter that means nothing will be heard again mm -hmm. so i report has gathered that he took a call from Maso villa for him and his aid to be released well it's upset in the efcc had said he arrived at the efcc office with five others and headed to meet the newly appointed chairman bawa the attorney general of the federation who was recently arranged the meeting for the minister you remember his bribery issue with malami himself involving five million pounds five million dollars he was ushered in at 1 pm to see the efcc chairman while carrying the money personally he was arrested and detained along with his eight all six of them it was a call from the villa that got him released after two hours there had been allegations of 40 billion naira fraud perpetrated in the NDDC, a ministry which was headed by Akpabio for three years. The Senate and the House of Representatives in 2020 resolved to probe the alleged 40 billion naira financial recklessness of the Interim Management Committee (IMC) of the NDDC in the previous three months. Also, there were allegations of over. 18 6 billion naira contract scam involving the senator elect and the former acting managing director of niger data development commission professor keme bradi kumo pondi which the efcc has been looking into the anti graft agency had in the past arrested akbabi over alleged theft of 108 billion naira of acquired bond funds uh huh. So now he's sick. That sickness will. Haha. <laughs> is this one harsh? You say, Quickie, you only. It's only when you have a case to answer that you fall sick. May it be unto you as you have said. Is someone or the government that abuse that hospital that you are going abroad? Are you not ashamed after governing your state for eight years? No international standard hospital. They built one, but they can't even use it. There's one big hospital that he built. That they can't use it. Okay, come to his state and see what he did. He had numbered all the southeast governors in projects, even did it. Okay, why is he going abroad? That's the that's the question. So he built it because not to his own standard, to the standard of the people, and they are just wasting the money because I learned that they, they brought some Chinese that time. But even when he had accidents, when it was newly built, he had an accident, he, he was flown abroad. You see how you people are deceiving yourself. This was the main reason why the man cross over to apc this lose money stolen are too much when will nigeria ever move forward they go nowhere so guys now so we see more <laughs> let's hear your opinion